Al Jafari stresses that the political map has changed due to the steadfastness of the Syrian people. Syrian Arab army units chase remnants of armed terrorist groups in different areas, including Idlib, in which an infiltration attempt by terrorists into Ariha was foiled. The fourth round of nuclear negotiations between Iran and the group of five plus one in Vienna. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our news for today. Syria's permanent representative to the UN, Dr. Bashar al-Jafari, said Lakhtar al-Ibrahimi has tendered his resignation as a UN envoy, and it is too early to talk about his successor. He added that al-Ibrahimi has committed a lot of mistakes during his term in office, including his intervention in Syria's internal affairs, pointing out that a mediator does not interfere in any state's affairs. In a press conference yesterday, Dr. Al-Jafari described the French Foreign Minister's statements as irresponsible as they urge for the use of force. He stressed that France is part of the problem, not the solution. Al-Jafari referred to the mistakes committed by the American administration, Qatar, Saudi Arabia and Turkey towards the Syrian people, affirming that many terrorists have come from Europe and entered Syria via Turkish borders. Al-Jafari said, Israel supports the armed terrorists receiving the wounded members of the Takfiri groups and training the so-called Free Army. Al-Jafari added that the influential countries at the UN Security Council, which help the armed terrorist groups in Syria in addition to some Arab countries, have a political plan to change the situation in Syria by force, but the Syrian people have decided to determine their own future. Concerning national reconciliation, as Jafari said, the Syrian government strongly encourages national reconciliation in all its forms on all Syrian national soil. He said some armed groups have decided to turn themselves in and hundreds are surrendering themselves and handing over their weapons every day according to agreements among concerned parties. Russia's permanent representative to the UN, Vitaly Chorkin, said his country has submitted a draft resolution at the UN Security Council intended to cover the humanitarian situation in Syria. In a press conference he held in New York, Chorkin said there are positive signs related to the recent local arrangement realized in the city of Homs, particularly the fact that the Syrian government and the various elements of the opposition, in addition to international agencies, have exerted big efforts to reach such formula. About a possible successor to al-Ibrahimi, Chorkin said, the names proposed by the UN Secretary General would be considered. Chorkin stressed that the third round of the Geneva talks should kick off as soon as possible, adding that the Syrian government is ready for this, whereas no clear stand has been voiced by the opposition concerning this issue. Chorkin asked why the presidential elections in Syria have been linked to the first Geneva statement, which does not oppose such elections, he said. In Idlib, a unit of the Syrian Arab army foiled an infiltration attempt by terrorists who tried to sneak from Azdawiya mountain into the secure areas in Ariha in Idlib countryside, killing many terrorists and injuring others. Syrian Arab army units targeted several hideouts for the terrorists in the villages of Saliyeh and Kafarjalis, killing many terrorists, including non-Syrians. Syrian Arab army units also destroyed a factory for making explosive devices, as well as a store for ammunition and a number of vehicles equipped with heavy machine guns. 
In Aleppo, water started gradually to return to a number of neighborhoods in Aleppo after resuming the main pumping station for drinkable water in Suleiman al Halabi neighborhood. Director of the General Company for Drinkable Water and Sanitation in Aleppo, engineer Mustafa Malhis, told Sana that pumping water to the main tankers in the city has started, adding that the water will return gradually to all parts in the city until tomorrow evening. In support of the national principles and the upcoming presidential elections, the inhabitants of Ashagur neighborhood have held a mass rally presenting artistic performances and reciting national poems greeting the occasion. Sheikh Sabri Ashanawani said, the people of the iconic Ashagur neighborhood say yes to the nomination of Dr. Bashar al-Assad to the post of President of the Republic, as he is the most qualified to lead and defend Syria. On his part, People's Assembly member, Deputy Chairman of the Damascus Chamber of of Commerce, Baha Eddin Hassan said, we want a president who takes Syria to safety and is capable of overcoming the crisis and restoring love and reconciliation. Poet Sheikh and Brasil Msallit recited a poem and the role of the opposition abroad in summoning foreign intervention. People's Assembly member Atif Zaybaq referred to the victories of the Syrian Arab army to defeat the armed terrorist groups and restore security to Syria. Secretary of the Second Ba'ath Arab Socialist Party section Samir Abdel Noor said the upcoming elections are a big national event, affirming that Syria will come out of the present crisis stronger than it had been thanks to the determination and perseverance of the Syrian Arab army. The election campaigns of the three candidates to the post of President of the Republic continue in most governorates, upholding major national mottos that stress the importance of Syria's steadfastness in combating terrorism and working to build the homeland, bring about reconstruction and consecrate national reconciliation. Meanwhile, marches continue throughout Syrian cities, hailing the upcoming presidential elections and voicing determination to choose a candidate who can embody the Syrians' ambitions in the next phase and is capable of combating terrorism and embodying national unity. President Bashar al-Assad issued Decree No. 19 for the year 2014, which stipulates the establishment of Hama University in the city of Hama, which will include 11 different colleges for various academic fields like medicine and humanities. Minister of Higher Education Dr. Malik Mohammed stressed that establishing Hama University will have positive impact on the development of education in the governorate of Hama in particular and Syrian University students in general. A number of world countries celebrated on the 26th of April the International Day for Intellectual Property. The Ministry of Internal Trade and Consumer Protection, in keeping with this tradition of celebrating the International Day for Intellectual Property, as Syria has already joined a number of treaties on international property and copyrights in the field of industry and education, held recently a number of activities attracting youth and children for the sake of encouraging art and creative production. We have won uh, the first uh, place in this concourse uh, of uh, inventors because we have been inv uh, invented a new process to treat the uh, uh, olive mill, uh, olive mill waste. As you know, the olive mill waste coming from the press is uh, containing a lot of uh, poisons. So it is not allowed to be spent directly to, to the lands. Uh, for that, we have invented a new and complete process uh, for the treatment of this kind of uh, uh, water. I'd like to say that we are happy to be here. Um, as Syria tells, uh, social responsibility has always been uh, focusing on the um, initiatives which support the innovative mind and um, uh, inventiveness in Syria. It's part of our social responsibility and we are uh, always um, uh, going on with these, with these kinds of activities and we hope uh, we, uh, that we will uh, always uh, support every, time, uh, every type of uh, initiative that uh, we receive 
we wish all these in, uh, Syrian inventors all the best. The national competition for invention and creativity was concluded yesterday in Al-Assad Library, during which gifts and souvenirs were distributed among artists and young inventors, which included the youngest creative child and the youngest creative youth, in addition to the best creative artist among university students. I, uh, I come in with uh, uh, unstoppable desk. It's a normal desk, but with uh, creative addition. I uh, make it uh, more uh, comfortable and uh, to give some uh, uh, some relax in uh, w with uh, using hand. Today was a great day for us in this festival of uh, creations of students who made them. I I was one uh, of the participants who joined this festival. And it was very fun, and I had lots of uh, great, a good time. I, I, I would like to thank everyone who joined, uh, joined this party festival and who uh, joined and uh, gave in a creation. The competition is considered a new challenge to the difficult circumstances Syria is facing as a result of the terrorist war launched against it. Palestinian people commemorate tomorrow the 66th anniversary of 1948 Nakba and the Zionist occupation of the largest section of Palestine through the support of British mandate. 66 years ago, more than 1 million Palestinians found themselves homeless, facing the unprecedented catastrophe of their mass deportation of their native land. More than 500 Palestinian villages and towns were ethnically cleansed of their native population by the Zionist thugs, who were led by the Haganah and Argun gangs. However, the Palestinian national struggle continued over the years despite many hurdles and setbacks. The Palestinian people are more determined now to liberate their land and restore their stolen legitimate rights. The fourth round of nuclear negotiations between Iran and the group of five plus one has started in the Austrian capital, Vienna. Iranian Foreign Minister Mohammad Jawad Zarif stressed that his team is quite ready for a serious round of talks in order to reach a final draft for a potential agreement on Iran's nuclear file, which includes lifting the sanctions imposed on his country, pointing out that viewpoints were exchanged with EU Foreign Affairs Coordinator Catherine Ashton on the necessity of reaching an agreement. Now to latest business and market news after a short break. Stay tuned.